Hello, I'm John Figarelli, founder of the National Fitness Hall of Fame. Each year we recognize a Hall of Fame inductee with our top honor, our Lifetime Achievement Award. Because of the coronavirus pandemic, we are unable to present this award in person to a very special person. You know him as America's personal trainer. He's a 2006 National Fitness Hall of Fame inductee, creator of the modern day personal training industry, and the first to bring personal training to the masses, Mr. Energy himself, Tony Little. Our last inductee, man, Mr. Energy himself, Tony Little. Hey. Do you mind? I just wanted to show you that I had hair. I'm tired of going to malls and everyone say, lift it. All right. Um, what do I say? I mean, this is a wonderful experience for me. This is a, a great experience. Um, like uh, you were saying, Don, you know, I've been through a lot of uh, adversities, like what well, we all do. You know, we all have adversities. We all have bumps in the roads and uh, things like that. And I've learned uh, a, a big lesson. You know, it's not that what happens to you that matters. It uh, matters how you respond to what happens to you. And you always have to go forward. Life is too short not to go forward. So I go forward, but I go through pretty fast <laughs> with a lot of energy. Uh, my hat's on now, so I can be myself. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's a hat, I swear. <laughs> but this is a big thing to me. This is a big thing because John Figarelli has had a dream and a passion, and he has pursued it. And I'll leave you with this. You can do it! Thank you. Hey, it's Tony Little here. Welcome to my home, all right? I really appreciate uh, you tuning in, but this is very important to me. Um, I want to thank uh, John Figarelli and the Figarelli family uh, because they helped run the National Fitness Hall of Fame for so many years. Um, and I've been fortunate to know them and fortunate to have received uh, you know, several different awards. But this year, um, I'm very fortunate to say that I'm the youngest uh, recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award, uh, but I'm also the only recipient to get it during the pandemic. Uh, but you know what? That just shows you, right? Adversity to victory. Conceive, believe, achieve. There's always a way if you think there's always a way. Um, so that's the way I've always been with my life, and I hope everyone else is too, because when you change your mindset, you can change your life. So let's go to the award. Can I have that award, please? It's so awesome. It's so awesome. The National Fitness Hall of Fame Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, again, they're telling me I'm the youngest. Uh, and that seems weird when you're 64 <laughs> or 63. 63 going on 64. Uh, but it's awesome. And the most important thing to understand about this, it's an outstanding dedication and commitment to helping others get fit and stay healthy. And that's really the goal for all of us fitness people out there is try to help people feel better, be stronger, and understand there's always a way when you believe there's always a way. You can do it! Thanks, everybody.